Welcome to IT SP Technology. So this is Vivek. So this is the part four. Four Java question series. This is the another twenty question related to same topic. The last we covered overriding and overloading. Okay, this is the continuation of the part. Okay, so let's start. So now first. Okay. So now first, yeah, get it. So now first is heading is the same. Okay, don't worry about the heading. What is the So now question is that trying to ask him what is an interface in Java. An interface in Java is an abstract type blueprint of a class. It contains the methods that a class must implement it. It is like a protocol. It is method signature as constant declaration. Okay. Constant declaration, right? So this is the interface. You can easily understand. You can declare the method. You cannot implement it. But you can implement that method inside the class when you use the implemented. It is the object that will be the same as the tech time method. Okay. Now, next question is it allowed to mark an interface method as a static? Yes. By Java 8 onwards, we can define a static and default method in an interface. Prior of Java 8 is was not allowed. Before the Java 8 work, this is not allowed, but now this is allowed. We can inside that interface, you can declare the static method or the default method. Why an interface could not be marked as a final? The final method cannot be overwritten. Right? But an interface method has, has to be implemented by another class so that the interface method cannot be marked as final. Okay. What is marker interface? Marker interface is the director. There are some interfaces that do not have any data member or methods. These interfaces are called as marker interface, like serializable, monable, and remote. Those methods have don't have any methods, variables like that. Just interface. Name is there. And you can see. This is that marker interface. What can we use instead of marker interface? We can use annotation instead of marker interface. How annotations are better than marker interface? Annotation serves the purpose of the conveying metadata about that class to do it consumer without creating a separate type for it. Annotations are more powerful than marker interface. They allow programmers to pass more to ticket information to the classes that consume it. Now, next question What is the difference between abstract class and interface? In so, now, first is an abstract class can have implemented method with body. Non abstract method. Interface has only abstract method from Java 8 onwards. Interface has a static and default method in implemented class. Number second. Abstract class can have instance member variable. An interface cannot have instance member, it can only have constant. And third one is an abstract class can have a constructor. Interface cannot have constructor. It has to be implemented by another class. So the class can extend only one abstract class. Class can implement more than one interface. Does, a, does Java allow us to use private and protected modifiers for variable in interface? No, all the variables in interface are implicitly public. How can we cast to an object reference for another uh, or uh, to an interface reference? 
an object that implements an interface can be cast to the same interface since an object implementing an interface already provides implementation for the method of that interface it is allowed to do so as far well as the proof of the inheritance now next topic is final how can we how can you change the value of a final variable in java java does not allow changing the value of the final variable once the value is set it cannot be changed can a class be a mark final in java yes class can be a mark to final in java once the class is marked as final it cannot be extended how can we prohibit it in high terms in java if you mark a class final it cannot be extended this will prohibit it prohibit prohibit the inheritance of that class in java why integer why integer class in final in java why integer class in java final? integer class is the wrapper class int for it if it is not marked final then any other class can extend it and modify the behavior of the integer properties operations to avoid this integer upper class mark as the final what is blank final variable in java when we declare a final variable without giving any initialization value that Okay. So now, how can we initialize a blank variable? Blank final instance variable can be initialized in a constructor. Blank final static variable can be initialized in the static block of a class. If uh, is it is it allowed to declare main method as final? Yes, we can map the main method as the final. Now, next topic is package. Let's put package and work on the things. Okay. So, now uh, what is the purpose of package in Java? Package used to encapsulate a group of classes, interfaces, and sub packages. Okay. It is the hierarchical structure of storing in information. It is easier to organize the related classes and sub classes packages in that manner. A package also provides access protection. Of a classes and interface package also has to removing the naming using very helpful practice. Which is the most important class in Java? It is an open-ended question with many answers. In my view, object class is the most important class of which I to learn. Then is it root of all classes in Java? It provides us some very important and fundamental methods. So now it's finished. So this is the small 20 questions we covered in the part four. Next video we will meet some other topic, some other 20 questions. So thank you. We will meet next video.